better. I moved some stuff around and I didn't like where that was, where that was at. This is my new hairstyle. It's called the uh, I'm broke, don't have money, please subscribe haircut. And I can't get a haircut because of the coronavirus, so there's that. Let me start off this video by saying I obviously have no experience at all in this field and really don't have any place to be talking about uh, things like this, but I figured I might as well tell you guys exactly what I'm doing to stay productive in a time specifically like this. I got inspiration from this video from another video of another YouTuber. Uh, his name is Matt DeVilla. I'll link his, the video I watched right here or right here, wherever it is in the time card. And then I'll also link it down in the description, his channel. Um, he's really cool. I watch him all the time. Um, anyways, it was, it's, I've got five productivity tips for you for what I do to stay productive during times like this and just in general how I stay productive at home. So without further ado, let's get into it. I have five tips for you guys um, and here's number one. I have to say these are not put into any specific order but if I had to rank one, this first one, probably the most important, it it's this, this is the most important one. I wake up at the same time every day. Um, I wake up at surprisingly enough four o'clock in the morning every day um, as you guys know, before I all this coronavirus happened, I wanted to be a real estate agent. And one of the people I followed and you know dedicated my life to becoming better than uh, his name is Ryan Serhant. Um, he's a million dollar broker. You may know him from Million Dollar Listing on what is it TMZ or whatever, whatever the show is Bravo. And, and anyways, he wakes up at uh, 4.20 and I figured I'd beat him by 20 minutes and wake up at 4. So that's why I wake up at 4. I don't suggest you guys have to wake up at 4. I just suggest that you wake up early and at the same time every day. That way you have that same constraint or whatever you want to call it same that way you guys have that same discipline every day of the week and when this is all over hopefully soon you'll be able to just jump right back into your normal life whatever that was number two uh the second thing i do is might be a little crazy um i have i'm looking at it right now i have a like wall of things that i have um gather information i've gathered since i moved here to new york and yes, I might be a little crazy about, you know, or weird or whatever, but I write down all of my ideas, any knowledge that I have gathered since I got here. I'll just go ahead and show you guys a quick little look. And it keeps me productive and on task with what I want to accomplish. Yes, I know it's a little crazy, but I don't care. It helps me. Maybe it'll help you if you want to do the same, although I highly doubt any of you will. <laughs> <laughs> the third thing I do to keep myself, you know, are really away from distractions and keeping focused and productive on whatever I end up working on is I will put on, you know, headphones and kind of just put myself in this own world. Uh, I'll listen to a few different Spotify playlists that really, they don't have any vocals. None of the music that I listen to has any vocals in it because I tend to find that when I'm listening to music with vocals, I tend to, you know, bob my head, start to get into the music more than into my work. And that's kind of preventing the purpose of it in the first place. But it helps me just, you know, kind of stay off my phone and block all outside distractions, especially, especially living in, you know, New York. It is a very loud city that never sleeps, even during the coronavirus. <laughs> Let me tell you, I know firsthand, uh, so it's a good way to just escape everything, and it's a communal sign of don't bother me right now, I'm working. Number four of what I do is I actually keep a journal, especially during a time like this. I think it's you know something that everybody should be doing. Um, we're living through what's going to be later in like textbooks. People are going to be learning about this pandemic probably. Um, in school later on. So I think it's good to write it down. You know, it keeps me focused on, you know, what I'm still grateful for in this life. I also use it for a to-do list sometimes. I really have an app for that. It's called Habitica. I'll show you right now. Uh, I'll say it again. It's called Habitica. Um, it is that purple app. Focus. That purple app right there. Uh, basically, basically the app is you can get all your friends can get it. You have a little character and every time you complete a habit or a to do or a daily that you have marked down yourself on what to do, 
uh, it upgrades your character. You gain, gain health, melee damage, whatever you want to call it. It's a little game inside of start trying to stay productive with your tasks. And I think, and I use it a lot. Um, my friends don't really use it. <laughs> I kind of got them into it and I stopped for a little bit, um, but I'm back on and productive. So I'm using it again. And last but not least, number five is I really just eliminate all distractions. Um, as you may have noticed, I have my room kind of rearranged now. Um, not that that doesn't happen a lot. I actually rearrange my room a lot, but I, I used to have this whole like setup, this gaming setup or whatever with my Xbox, my PC and all this. And it was just a huge distraction from my work. I would still, you know, get up at, you know, four o'clock in the morning, but I would just hop right on that and then I'd be distracted for the whole day and I'd get up and realize it's five o'clock in the afternoon and I'd be like, where did all my time go? So I just eliminated that whole thing and just, I now have a desk over here with literally just my laptop <laughs> to stay productive. And what I do on my work time, uh, work time during this virus thing is I'll sometimes watch like uh, Skillshare, I'm sure any of you have heard of that. If you don't, uh, it's basically like YouTube, but like this learning place where qualified teachers and other platforms and stuff like that teach what they know on there, specifically such as like, I'm taking a film editing class. I'll link it down in the description for anybody that wants to check it out, but it's, it's very cool. Very, it helps me learn a lot um, of anything that I'm trying to learn at the time. Um, I also read a lot. Um, I know that's probably boring to anyone else, uh, but I think it's a good self-development education, stuff like that for you. So I also read a ton, not a ton, but I read a good 30 minutes a day just to keep my mind, you know, pacing and ready for whenever this all ends. Let me know if you want me to make a video on what I do when I'm bored at home. Um, I might end up making it anyways, whether you guys say anything or not. But anyways, that's the end of the video. Um, I hope you guys all enjoyed or got something out of this video. Um, obviously, I hope you all stay safe from this huge coronavirus thing. Go stay home and literally don't leave your house. Um, <laughs> it'll all hopefully blow over soon. But anyways, that's it. I hope y'all subscribe. It still says like 40% of you aren't. So just go ahead and flip that around, change it, and I'll see you in the next one.